All this month, get up to $50 off any Android smartphone from Appalachian Wireless. Any Android you desire. All $50 off with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. West Virginia Governor Jim Justice traveled to Logan County Thursday to continue his Roads to Prosperity tour. The governor visited Gaddy's Pizza in the Fountain Place Mall to persuade residents to vote in favor of the road bond referendum. The referendum is a proposal to issue $1.6 billion in bonds to finance road construction in the Mountain State over the next four years. There's no chance of a tax increase and that all the money are going toward the roads. It's constitutionally set that way and that many, many, many West Virginians, we hope all West Virginians, are going to get all the jobs. During the end of Governor Justice's visit, a member of the audience questioned whether or not the road bond referendum would actually diversify the economy. Well, he started off talking about coal and, and uh, Coal's resurgence and, and how he, along with uh, Trump, were going to bring coal back. And uh, in my opinion, um, that is simply a disservice to the people in Logan County and southern West Virginia. Coal will never come back to where it was at before. However, others think the road bond referendum is exactly what needs to happen in order for the state's economy to expand. We're in the mining industry and we have the restaurant and some other businesses, but our main business is the, the coal industry. And um, in the past three years, we've been trying to diversify into manufacturing and it is so important that we have the right infrastructure to pull in those jobs. Voting for the Governor's Roads to Prosperity Amendment takes place October 7th. Early voting begins Friday. In Logan, Shelby Steele, EKB News.